Yo, we at the People Station, V103, Greg Street, hanging out with the boy Nate Walker tonight. Nate! What up? Hey, man, you had a big year last year. Yeah, man. Guys are good, yo. Where you from? Born in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I had the privilege, though, to, like, be great. My mom moved me when I was 14 to Illinois. So, shout out to Shy City. After that, you know, moved to Virginia. Then I went to college in Alabama. So, I've been kind of all over the place growing up. So, you've been moving? Yeah, man. Yeah, now, man, um, when did you know you was really going to make it in this music game? Man, I knew... I mean, about two years ago is when I, like, decided, that, like, yo, I'm about to move to Atlanta and really try, you know, to go hard in the paint with the music, you know what I mean? So, um, I just never, I actually never not believed in myself, you know what I mean? I, I always felt like it was more so a commitment thing. Like, if I can convince me I can do it, then I'm, I'm bueno. Now, I know God really gives us all our big breaks, but who was, like, the person that ran into, that you ran into, that what the chemistry really just came together? Man, I mean, honestly, yo, uh... You got to say God because it's like, it's crazy because the way everything happened, it, like nobody can really take blame for it. You know what I mean? It was more so like I was on the road with Swayze and like a joint from my mixtape had gotten to, you know, some people's hands and they had done a whole nother version to the song and all that stuff. And that was blaming it on alcohol. That was like my first placement. I didn't even know you could place a record up until then. You know what I mean? So when that happened, it was just, you know, like, wow. I, you know what I mean? And the person that got, actually called me while I was on the road was Chris Anderson, you know, the producer of the version y'all here now. But I definitely want to shout out my homeboy David Ballard because, you know, when I moved down here, he actually let me sleep on his floor and stuff like that. I didn't really, you know, I had, I was working in a, you know, a clothing store. So David actually let me sleep on his floor and he's actually the one that created like the original, you know, Blame on Alcohol record. So definitely shout out to David Ballard. He's produced a bunch of joints on my album. So. Y'all gonna be hearing from me. Now you mentioned Blame It. Jamie felt Jamie Foxx is Blame It. Yeah. What did you contribute to that song? I did, I did the hook on it. You know what I mean? So uh, it was already a record, you know, that was um, on my mixtape, Nate Obama, uh, hosted by DJ Shaq Kim. What up, Shaq? And um, but it actually, you know what I'm saying, we was on the road, you know, promoting the mixtape. And um, that joint, it was, on my, it was on my MySpace, too. So, you know, they... I guess from what I hear, because I only know through stories, you know what I mean? Because we actually, I didn't get a call till two weeks before the Jamie Foxx's album was released, you know what I mean? So it was like, from what I hear though, it was kind of like a dude that was supposed to be my homie, you know what I'm saying? Like he knew me and David, and um, he kind of like, you know, had our music, but luckily, you know what I'm saying, we had copywritten our stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a big deal on that part, but um, he kind of had, like, had our music and was like going around like it was his, you know what I mean? And so um, I guess when it came time for them to really, you know what I'm saying, lock the record in on Jamie, uh, they couldn't. And um, they, then they, you know, start Googling and stuff and they found, you know, that me and David. So is, the, is the original version floating around? Your mixtape still yeah, floating around? Yeah, yeah, it's out there. Like, now we go, we gonna, we gonna go from Jamie Foxx to um, Trey Songs. Yeah. After Jamie Foxx, you jumped on the Trey Songs project. What songs did you write on, on, on the Trey Songs project? Um, I only did one joint on there, uh, Say I. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, if you can, it's kind of got a little similar vibe to it. You know what I mean? It was crazy, though. Uh, did that joint. Shout out to Young Yanni who produced it. Also, shout out to Iron Chef Tone. Like, he wrote the verses and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I only did the hook on there, too. You know what I mean? And um, we actually, nobody really, you know, I mean, it was crazy how it happened that with, t with that one, too. Because it was like, I had done the hook. Yanni had sent me, first of all, Yanni hit me up on MySpace, yo. Because after the blame it, you know what I'm saying, like, people was hitting me up, he hit me up on MySpace, like, yo, B, like, I got all these placements, man, like, you know what I'm saying, I want to work with you. I was like, well, cool, you know, sent him my email. He sent me, like, no lie, like, 40-some beats, yo. And it was like, the second beat I had played was the Say I beat. And I was, you know, it's like, yo, I already had, like, um, actually, I already had the, the words and the melody in my head, and it just, it fit with it, you know what I mean? So I laid it that night, sent it to him in the morning. And um, he was like, "Yo, this is crazy, but but what do you what do you what do you mean by say I? Ah? You know what I mean? Like he was like, I don't know, it might be too edgy. I'm like, nah, man, that's why you know it's gonna mess with people, dog. Like we just gotta, we should just try and place this joint. This joint is crazy, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Send it to my manager, Skia, and you know, the rest is history, yo. He sent it to Iron, Iron Chef Tone. Chef did the verses. We got a call like that day, like yo, from Troy, like Troy Taylor, like yo, we keeping this. This is a Trey Songz record." You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, y'all making the album. Like, ah, that's what's so, up. So now that's two monsters. Blame it. Yeah. Say ah. Uh, yeah. Now I know you do a lot of touring. You're also an artist. Um, what's some of the big college tours and some of the tours that you've been on? Man, um, 
My biggest tour I was on, hands down, was the Swayze and the Nuts tour. Uh, Swayze signed the Interscope. Uh, he had an MTV show called Buzzing. It was, but I mean, I I learned so much on that on that tour, yo. Like we was doing shows, like sometimes two shows a night, you know what I mean, for like forty some days, you know. So it was definitely like the best. Like because of that tour, like I I love doing shows, you know what I mean. It was just like like growing up. It was like like high school for me, you know what I mean. Like yo, I, I really was learning the art of you know doing a show. Like my first show on the road with him was cool, but it's like. By like that seventh show, I knew my show like front and back, you know what I mean? So it was just like we was able to really have a lot of fun with the audience. No, we knew what worked, what didn't work, you know what I mean? So definitely shout out to Swayze for you know actually bringing me on tour because he didn't have to. Like it actually started in Kentucky. I was opening up for him, you know what I mean? And uh, the, the crowd was so hyped that he came off the bus and was like, "Yo, who's who's on stage?" And you know, my road manager told him about me and stuff like that. He's like, oh, "I want to meet him when I, when he get off." So we actually just partied that night. And while we was partying after the show, he you know he hit me with the like, "Yo, you should hop on tour with us, yo." Like and I was like, I thought he was just you know drunk or something or just saying some stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, you know whatever. And so like I had you know next day came, I I go home and I get a call that night like. Yo, where's where you at? You supposed to be here? Like we we in um Nebraska. I'm like, yo, what are you saying? Like, yo, he's like, man, I told you to come on tour. I was like, you were serious? He's like, yeah. It's like ah, so uh, you know, we we flew out. We didn't make that show, but you know, who's on on like you know, who's supposed to be after that, yo? It's crazy. I, I've seen you perform a lot. I keep it classic. Uh, we did the big party in L. A. Yeah. Doing the awards with uh, Diamond Supply. Shouts out to Nick Diamond, Brock Diamond, the whole crew out there. Now. What's your best performance that you would say that's on the internet that people could go search for? Hmm. My best joint? I mean, it's the one, I got like a compilation joint that I put up that uh, I edited myself, actually. You know what I'm saying? It's on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. It's on my, my YouTube how, how's channel. How's it titled? It's titled... Uh, What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube is Nate Walker TV. Nate Walker TV on yeah. YouTube. You gotta see this. You gotta see this guy perform. Yeah. You gotta see him. He's an incredible writer. He's Thanks, an incredible perform, performer. But you gotta see him perform. Log on to Nate Walker TV on YouTube. Um, we talked about the blame it. We talked about the Trey songs. Who you been working with lately? Man, we um we was actually blessed to get a joint on Jesse McCartney album coming out. Yo, me and Young Yanni. So you know we definitely excited about that. Um, we got a Day 26 single, you know, shout out to Troy and Day 26, like, it, them dudes is crazy. Uh, we just placed, you know, about eight records overseas, you know, four of them are singles, so, you know, God is good. Just, just working, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to work, like, it's just a blessing to me to be able to do what I love for a living, you know what I mean? So, writing, performing, all that, so it's just like, yo, this is, it's just, can't get no better. Now, as a writer, who who, who, are you, who are you signed with? Are you signed with a production company? Or are you signed with anybody in particular? As a writer, I'm, you know, I have a pub deal with Ultra Tunes. You know, shout out to Patrick Moxie. You know, that's the owner of it. Um, he actually came. I signed with him before Blame It blew up. You know what I mean? Like when I dropped my mixtape, he uh, he came down. I met him at the W, and I gave him my mixtape. And then he sent over an actual deal memo the next day. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, yo, like, we really, you know what I'm saying, impressed by you, da da da. So I was like, yeah, man, let's do it. So shout out to Ultra, you know. And some exclusive footage, Nate Walker. Yeah. We're going to go in the studio with Nate, go behind the scenes and watch him do his thing. So stay tuned for that. But um, Greg Street, Nate Walker, blame it. Make sure y'all, yo, I don't know when this is going to be posted, but tomorrow night, I'm doing my official listening party. It's gonna be bananas. Now you've done, you, you've had a party in New York. Yeah. You've had one in L.A. Yeah. Memphis. Yeah. And now ATL. Yeah. We be yo, and we got gonna do one in Memphis on the 19th, yo. It's gonna be stupid, though. All, that's all I can say, man. We shout out to Ciroc who's sponsoring to, uh, tomorrow night's festivities. You know what I'm saying? So everybody can get drunk for free. And I am an official Ciroc DJ, the Ciroc DJ hey. for ATL. I'll be hosting the party. So Nate Walker. Oh, that's what's up, man. I didn't know that, man. You got to dap me up on that one, my guy. Say ah, Drinks on me. <laughs> Chirac and lemonade. Yeah. Grape juice. Yeah, Coco Loso. Let's got to it. have it. <laughs> Yo, we're